Hey guys, this is Two Wheel Savage. Today we're uh, back with another video with the Transition TR250. I put a dual crown fork on this. It's a Marzocchi Bomber 58. 200 millimeters of front travel, 180 rear. It's gonna be the ultimate free ride bike. We're at one of my favorite spots. We're gonna test it out and see how sick this bike is. Ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> ah. The sand's wet and frozen, so it was able to get a jump off the sand. All right, my friend Corbin, he's going up. He's gonna try this big rock slab. Yeah, it's his first time mountain biking. We ride dirt bikes together, like single track stuff, so he should be pretty good on it. He's also got a TR250. I convinced him to get one, so yeah, let's see it. I think he's got it. Yeah! Corbin, he um, upgraded this drivetrain to an 11 speed because it's going to be his enduro bike. He blew out the derailleur, the, the, the clutch is just gone. So we zip tied it. Hopefully, he'll be able to get some free ride action still. SRAM POS. <laughs> what a guy. Just straight up first day mountain biking, Even breaking his stuff. First mountain bike experience isn't going super great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to hit some more lines. Let's do it. Oh yeah, using using the fork like it's meant to be. We could try to drop into this shelf and then you could drop down there or if there's a smooth line out over here. Like what if we do get onto the floor one? Well we kind of stay high. If we drop down the center Oh yeah, easy. Just drop that. That was sick. Oh yeah, we could just, we could come up either if you want to drop on that side, that side's pretty smooth, but if you want to drop on this side, we could, yeah, we could ride this ridge. That's not bad. You've got that for sure. You ready? His derailleur may have done something up there. I got stuck on the bike somehow and then the front end dug in and hit a rock and I went OTB. Oh and wow. I got stuck on the bike, freaking fell straight onto rocks. Really? Yeah, fudge dude. I don't even know what happened. 
like I was going, I kind of got offline. I was about to move over, and then it just tucked, and I was like, I literally went OTB, foot were st stuck on the pedals, really? and landed on me. Yeah. Really? You're fine though. Yeah, I'm good. Really. It sucks because like when you're free riding on like this kind of stuff, stuffing the front end is like catastrophic. Easy. You've got to like be careful with everything. Straight to the bone. That I just bruised my bone right there. <laughs> Well, your bike seems to be good, so that's yeah, nice. Other than the old derailleur, maybe. You wanna go look for more lines? Let's go. Dropping. I've done this in a past video with this drop that goes into this super steep chute. There's a bunch of shale right here. I cleared off a little bit of it. Hopefully we should be good. There's like a four foot drop down there, so. This one always gets the nerves going because there's no like straight run into it. It's just like super steep that side. Shale. Hopefully we got this. Let's do it. Dropping. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I, I couldn't stop, it's too frozen. Oh, yeah, I, I was like, I'm not going off this cliff. So I just had to lay her down. Yeah, there was no slowing down for me, dude. I'll probably just roll down this and then come down. This ground is super frozen. Last time, you can see our old tire tracks. Last time we actually sunk in and got a little bit of traction this time I had a abort mission because that size a cliff That's gonna be the end. This fork gives me so much more confidence on this thing. And it's it's starting to turn into more of a mini free ride build, which is what I've wanted to. I've got some more parts coming for this thing, so stay tuned for some more videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video.